Just a quick reminder for you that we've released a really cool game for mobile devices. Our game mirrors the life of our very own Garage 54. Hire a crew, purchase equipment for repairing cars, film videos, and grow your YouTube fan base. Buy yourself cars and modify them in true Garage 54 fashion, and then enter them into a race. Basically, we've made an excellent simulation of our experiences for you to immerse yourself into. Go ahead and hit the link in the description, download our game, and see you on the racetrack. Hey there, fellas. All right. You can see what's popping in here. Of course you know what this is, right? This is something recognizable not just to car people, but also cyclists, anybody who owns a moped or a motorcycle. You're all aware what this is and how it's meant to be used. Anyway, you see how many we've got here? We decided we'd grab enough to have a surplus. We've got 100 of them in total. So here's the idea, fellas. This will be a simple experiment, without any... It's not meant to make sense or help us discover anything. We're looking to do a simple experiment, which boils down to the following. We take a wheel, let out all of the air, and let's assume you need to pump 250 times to fill it back up again. We'll begin by using one pump, and then we'll try connecting a few of them together. The idea is basically that if you need to pump 200 times with just the one pump, but then let's say you take 10 of them, then, well, it becomes a matter of pumping 20 times. And theoretically, the wheel should be full after that. Now, I suggest we try this out and see if that's how it actually works. And if we're even able to make this work at all. Let's do this. Okay, guys, we went ahead and let the air out of the tire. We've attached the pump. Now I'm going to pump it exactly 100 times, and then we check to see how much pressure that creates after you give it 100 pumps. Always exploiting the youngsters. Go ahead and try it out. 100 pumps. You're a well-built dude. Be my guest. What happens when you use 100 pumps to inflate a wheel? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. 50. Ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, eight, nine, one hundred. All right, one pump. One hundred times. One hundred jocks. One pump, one hundred jocks. Anyway, one pump, 100 hits. We're not in the gym pumping iron, of course. We are in here pumping air. And let's check on the tire pressure. See that? 25 PSI. That's good. We have a reference point. Here's what I suggest we try. I say we connect two pumps together, and hence... With two pumps, we'll do 50 times each. Okay then, two pumps, 50 hits, time to check on the tire pressure. That's a fail. Look at this, somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 PSI. That makes it a 10 PSI drop in pressure. But why? Why so? We're losing air somewhere. We'll try doing 50 times by two pumps once more. But this time, instead of rushing it, we'll be bringing them down all the way, so that all of the compressed air makes it into the tire, and we don't see any losses along the way. Let's try that again. Alright, fellas, here's the situation. When you pump the air in slowly, the point being to avoid any losses, we still couldn't manage anything above 16 PSI, so it only went up by just a bit. This brought us to the following decision. Now why not take turns pumping, while still using both of them? But first you press one, then the other. Two pumps should be giving us double the efficiency. But in reality, the efficiency just isn't there. This isn't working. But hopefully we can get some decent results at 50 pumps. Something close to 25 PSI. I can feel how you guys hate me right now. 
<laughs> oh, you mean like this? No, I don't think I can manage that. One. Two. Three. Twenty-nine. Forty-nine. Fifty. See that, fellas? Now we're talking. Almost 25 PSI. Oh man, we missed the mark by the tiniest margin. That's nothing. But the results are legit nonetheless. So in any case, when we use two pumps at once, the process does become more efficient. That's 50 multiplied by 2 as opposed to 1 by 100. Okay, let's keep increasing the amount of pumps. Perhaps we should try 5 and make an attempt at getting a similar result with that amount of pumps. If 1 is 100, 2 is 50, then 5 means no more than 20 times each. Let's hook up 5 pumps and try filling a tire with air with just 20 hits. Let's do this. Okay, fellas, here's what we're dealing with. Since the more people we invite to the party, the less pumping we need to do. Well, now we're running 10 pumps. We're looking to achieve approximately 25 PSI, which is equivalent to 100 pumps. But since we've got 10, each of us will give it 10 hits. Let's do this in freestyle, without synchronizing the process. Okay, we're doing this? I've done 10 as well. Fantastic. Remove the thing. And now I'm curious to see the result. I can't say I'm impressed. Let me take a closer look. That's 17. We're losing air. For sure. Somebody was being lazy. Okay, fellas, here's the situation. After we hooked up 10 pumps, a few of them just aren't working to their full capacity. They're not giving it their full 107%. You see? The pressure gauge is showing us... I mean, 10 hits on each pump, making it a total of 100. We should be seeing at least 22 PSI. Meanwhile, here we are looking at 17, 18, meaning we're losing air. Well, there's a bunch of connections, plus the length of those hoses, and when you factor all of that in... You know what, let's try hooking up 10 more. Maybe even 15 or 20. Let's do this. Alright fellas, we've gathered a bunch of people in this place. Naturally, we will be taking safety precautions and wearing masks. Everybody except for me, since I will be keeping at a pretty safe social distance. We've got everything prepared, we've laid out the pumps, and we've got Shorty in the house. You might have noticed it was absent when we continued experimenting in the garage. Well, it was right here at this car wash. Okay, let's do a quick recap. You surely remember how using one pump we gave it 100 hits, then we gave two 50 pumps each, Using 10 we did 10, and now we've got 100 of them in here. I reckon one hit each should be enough to inflate the tire. We got the pressure up to about 25 psi those times, but there is a problem with the setup we've got here. The length of the entire system we've linked together is in excess of 100 meters, meaning we'll definitely have some losses. Though I reckon that nobody will be upset with giving their pump two hits, if the situation calls for it. Let's try this out. First we give them one hit, do a measurement, then we do another round. 
This is going to be so much fun. Now I gather if we all give it 10 pumps, the pressure would be enough to destroy the tire. But then again, I really don't think we'll be able to create that much with a bike tire pump. Though some of these guys do look pretty big. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, I've let the air out from the tire. By means of removing the valve stem core. Let me just put it back in there. Now we hook up the air. Okay, time to man our stations. All hands on deck. And let's begin pumping air. You guys ready? Alright, let's do this. One. There we go. Oh, it's barely even going down. Is it pumping up? Sure is. Slowly. Keep them pressed down. Fantastic. Did everybody bring them down all the way? Okay then. Oh, here we go. Pipe down, will ya? We've still got pressure in the system. Yeah, it is slim. Okay. That's not a lot. That's weak. A bit over 7 psi. We maxed out at 7 psi. Here's the situation. When all of us press down at once, you see, there's a tremendous loss occurring somewhere. When pushing down on 100 pumps at once, we were only able to get up to 7 psi of tire pressure. That doesn't seem right. It should at least have gone up to 22. Well, yeah, there's the length of the hose, of course. But I still think we're losing way too much. I guess this means resorting to some trickery. In other words, we'll be taking turns using our pumps. Bring them up. First row, go! Second group, go! Sounds like we've got a leak somewhere. And a pretty bad one, too. Third group. Fourth group. And now fifth. No, it has not popped yet. Unfortunately. Now let's have a look. I reckon it's long gone. Zero. This layout doesn't seem to work. No pressure whatsoever. Okay, fellas, here's the situation. Even with 100 pumps, one hit per pump isn't enough to inflate the tire. The best we could get was 7 psi. Looks like we're losing a ton of air somewhere. Anyway, now we try doing two hits each. So two times instead of just one. Then we check to see how much pressure we got in there and whether we were able to bring it up in the first place. 100 pumps times two? That's a good 200 hits. Holy crap, man. That'd be enough to make it explode. But hey, we'll see if that's actually the case. You guys ready? All right, two times each, okay? So one, then hold, handles back up, and one more. Okay? Is that clear? You ready? And... Let's do this. Holy moly! I see you've all gotten stronger. I can't even push mine in. Has everybody finished? And let's do that a second time. It's not going down. The left one is fighting back more than the right. Is everyone done? Let's have a look then. Now that was intense. That was... 
very intense. Or team. We actually got somewhere. We put in 14 pounds of pressure after pressing down twice. So after all of us gave our pumps two hits, we brought the pressure up to 14 psi. How much this time? Four. Everybody wants to try four hits this time. All right then, four it is. Yeah, you need to get a firm grip. Is everybody ready? Let's do it then. One. And two. That's two. You guys done? And three. It appears we have a strong man in the house. We lost one pump, but no worries. And a fourth time. Let's go, guys. There's a valve in there, don't worry. We finished? Okay then. Maybe one more time? No, that's enough. It's all good on that end. I just need to quickly remove this. Get away from me. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine PSI. Fantastic. This experiment was a success, right? Look at that. Someone suggested after pumping it four times, everybody seems to be getting pretty excited. And now the people just want to keep pumping until the tire explodes. Well, I don't see the problem. We can try that out. Let's do it then. You just give it all you've got. We seem to be making progress. I'm gonna man just one pump. There we go. Say what? Of course it's gonna fight back. I guess now we check to see how much force a manual pump can generate. As in how much air we'll be able to feed. Seems like one hell of a task. But we do seem to be getting somewhere. Wait, that was a bit easier than usual. <laughs> That's as far as we're going to get. I'm gonna disconnect it. That's quite a stream from this nozzle. We jump on any opportunity to have some fun. This is taking a while. How much pressure was that anyway? Sixty PSI. That's actually a solid result. Yeah, there's quite a bit of pressure in there. If this were a winter tire, all of the studs would have popped out. But it's a summer tire, so... Okay guys, here's the story. One pump and 100 times equals 25 psi. Or maybe a bit less, anywhere from 23 to 25. Then we did 2 by 50, and then 10 by 10. The result was pretty much the same every time. But when we put together 100 pumps and pressed down once, we weren't able to achieve that same pressure due to some catastrophic losses. Even though we did make this as airtight as possible. I'm guessing it's all down to the length and all of that. There was just too much pressure inside that system of hoses, though it did achieve equilibrium with the pressure inside the tire, but in the end we still saw some tremendous losses. In any case though, if you so happen to find that your tire went flat, 
and you've got a bunch of friendly colleagues at hand, or you live in a good neighborhood, well, you could just bring everybody together, hook up 100 pumps, and if everybody puts in four pushes, that's it. So the moral of the story is always be on good terms with your neighbors. <laughs> Anyway, fellas, the thought did occur that you could take a million pumps and give them one push at once, and that that would create enormous pressure, but in reality that's not exactly how it works. Even with the amount of people that we've gathered, we were all hammering until we ran out of breath, and we still weren't able to bring the pressure up any higher than 60 psi. At that point it becomes really hard to push down. I mean, even your body weight isn't enough. It's not a matter of strength. You can push down with full force and get absolutely nowhere. That said, 60 psi is still one hell of a result. And that does it for this fun little experiment. That's all I have for you fellows. Watch us, subscribe, send in those comments and suggestions, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.